Hello, Commanders. How are you all doing today? I hope you're, hopefully you're having a wonderful weekend. And hopefully things have calmed down a little bit as the War Room novelty has started to wear off a little bit. Um, the, the War Room, uh, mine's still level 7. <laughs> That's going to take forever to level, and I've decided to start. But I don't know if it's the most efficient yet. Um, I think there's a different debates on whether you save it or not, but it seems like the best source to get the items to upgrade it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so leave it up to you what you're, um, what you're going to do with that. Um, and hopefully they improve the sourcing. I, I know there's some uh, items to upgrade it in the battle pass, but anyways, that's not the purpose of this video, dang it. Okay, so let's hop in. Let's talk about Strange New Worlds crew. Um, there's three of them, and let's let's talk about them. I wanted to, rather than doing one video for each one, I thought it might be just good to just knock them all out together. So let's talk about them. Um, before we do, if you are new, please remember to, su to subscribe to the channel. Um, it really helps to grow out the uh, grow the channel for me. And then also um, hit that thumbs up hit, um, and the bell notifications to aware of future content. And feel free on any of the content I make to to um, leave a comment, you know, great video or, or whatever. If you have some comments about it, I'd love to hear your feedback on if there's other things that I haven't thought of as I have put this video together. So here's the officers. We'll scroll down, 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 down. There we go. All right, Strange New Worlds crew. And Begna, let's see what this bearded fool has got for us today. All right, so uh, we've got Butcher of Jagal. He's going to increase the mitigation stats by 1,500% of officer health versus non-armada hostiles. So this is interesting. Um, I don't know. When, when, we, when we have a new arc and we have a new loop or new hostiles, typically Scopely will release something um, for the spend events for the month that is interesting enough that uh, players want to spend their resources. Personally, I'm just spending this month to get to the rare G5 Sanctus, really close, thousand rare or away about right now. So we'll see if I can do it this weekend or next. But usually they, they release an officer that helps with the loop or with the hostels. Um, when we look at an officer and it says mitigation stats, that typically means um, standard damage, not isolytic damage. Usually you're gonna see isolytic defense, something like that. Um, so this doesn't, as far as this loop goes, really seem interesting to me at all. We'll have to see where he kind of plays out. Um, the fight for peace is similar in a way to Spock, the original Spock's ability where his, his stats were based upon defense of the crew on the ship, a percentage of that. So this, is, is is probably the better of the two as far as what I can tell. Um, and where do I see this working? Well, if you've ever taken out the Strange New Worlds crew and you've hit hostiles, um, sometimes your shields take a pounding, don't they? And so he will help to keep the shields up so you don't have to hit a hostile and then wait five minutes or however long it takes for your shields to recharge before you can hit another hostile. And since he's part of the Strange New Worlds crew, he will add synergy. You might have a little bit less since he's a captain if you're using Strange New Worlds Pike, but you know maybe you sacrifice a little bit of the synergy to Pike for um, this ability to keep hitting hostiles. It just depends on what hostiles you're hitting, I suppose. Okay, so let's let's talk about the next one. Uh, let's see here. I thought I was going to scroll all the way down. <laughs> Sam Kirk. Never know what this game's going to do. Okay. Applied Xenoanthropology. He reduces enemy shield hit points by 10% every round versus non-armada hostiles. Um, I suppose if you have a hostile that you really need to chip away at their shields, that this could be interesting. So we'll have to see how that may have in-game applications. His, his uh, officer ability is the one that interests me the most, especially <clears throat> if you can get him maxed, 350% um, increasing critical damage by 350% versus non-armada hostiles. So that's where I see the most interest. Um, so yeah, doing a lot more critical damage. That could be interesting on some of the stronger hostiles that we're hitting. So um, that might be interesting to see. 
um, using the Strange New Worlds crew also in like waves, I found when I put that on my ships, I have better mitigation, especially in those last few rounds to last longer. Um, and so this may be interesting where he's providing synergy. So maybe um, on an interceptor, which I have been, or I will be probably using, um, I have been using on my tally, I suppose, to take out the board probes. But uh, might be interesting to have Strange New Worlds Pike, Uhura, and Kirk. Might be an interesting combo where you have the mitigation, but you're also doing some pretty good damage. Uh, so with him being max would be even more effective. The jewel for this month, I think, um, for the for the regular player, um, those who aren't big spenders. Um, is to go and find all the ways you can source the nurse nurse chapel's um, shards. Yeah. Why do I say that? Well, her officer ability isn't that fantastic at tier one, especially when you consider the loot officers that we have. Uh, e Picard, E Data, 5 of 11, for example. Um, so at tier one, not interesting at all to me. Uh, maybe maxed, you'll see some better benefit. But it's got to be more than, you know, 80% for me right now because I have um, 511 at uh, rank 4. And that gives me 80%. So 25% doesn't do a whole lot for me. But it's this below deck ability that especially when you have a max that is going to be the most impactful, I think, especially to the Gorn hostiles. In fact, to any hostiles, I suppose, because you're doing more isolytic damage or some of the tougher hostiles that we've had lately. If you can do more isolytic damage, that's really gonna help you. So especially if you have a, a, an empty slot after you've met your ship's uh, stats, then this could be very helpful. And they have been throwing out more and more research, seems like all the time to help with your officer stats, which should help as you get bigger ships because they require more stats to max out their capabilities for their attack, defense, and health. But, this one, um, if you have an extra slot, doing some extra isolytic damage below deck. And uh, this is isolate cascade even. And so cascade without going into the math in this video, uh, it's not just your regular isolate. There's a calculation that goes into where you kind of multiply a couple of things to get to the cascade number to the final, final isolytic number, I should say. Uh, but this should be, should be interesting. Uh, one recommendation I can make for this, just forward thinking, right, is that typically when you have an end of arc event store, the rare officers are cheaper and much easier to source some, some uh, officer shards than the expensive epics. Um, and so it might be worth your while to think about spending all, all or a good chunk of your event store loot. And I'm just predicting or looking forward here, right? So unless there's a better rare officer that comes along, she may be very valuable for your event store currency. So those are just my thoughts. Um, I'd love to hear from you all on what you think about the Strange New Worlds officers this month. I'd also love to hear if you know, things have calmed down for you as far as like the war room goes. Since they've said that they're only going to do it two weeks this month, um, I think that's kind of eased some tensions of it being every single week for me. Um, so I'd love to hear from you all. Um, I have noticed that uh, PvP hasn't been as active in the last day or two. Um, those first couple of days were a little bit uh, rough, weren't they? <laughs> so, oh boy, uh, as, as I mentioned in my other videos, that I think Scopely could have done a much better job of how they had orchestrated and designed this whole uh, PvP thing in its own system, its own instant system, what have you. Uh, I think there were other things they could have done, but they just didn't. And I think that's a failing, a big failing on Scopely's part. But Let's be honest. It's it's a typical it's a typical thing. Whenever they come out with an art, there's always bugs, right? But whenever they it seems like whenever they come with a new style of PvP, there's always a huge miscalculation on their end from the regular players, anyways. Um, you have the whales and those with the bigger ships that they just have fun fun and have a fine time with it. But uh, for the regular player. If you're on the sense of on the fence of maybe leaving the game, then sometimes some kind of goes wrong like this will cause it to happen. I hope it doesn't push anyone out. Um, it's just frustrating, 
It really is. So hopefully things get better and that your your server uh, can adapt its rules of engagement, its row to kind of compensate for some of those things so that the regular players can still mine, can still do their events, can still leave a, a ship, a monodine in, in Texas class space to, to get the loot that they need for their turn-ins. Uh, PvP, in my opinion, should never stop the regular player from playing uh, aside from going into war with another alliance you know that that does happen but um when you when you impact too much of the regular players to play the game people could start leaving in droves and i don't think that should be the goal uh pvp should be fun for those who are interested in it but um, you shouldn't force the other regular players to pvp if they don't really want to so there's me on my soapbox. There's a look at the new Strange New Worlds officer. Love to hear from you. Feel free also to join the Discord. I always leave that in the description below. Uh, love to have you be part of that and the community they're trying to build there. And uh, I have a great time there communicating and talking with each one of you that I've interacted with as we've tried to help each other become better um, and really, you know, watch out for each other and help each other enjoy this game more than than we could before so anyways thank you so much and we will talk to you next time